to change. Hey, Lana. Ever feel like a plastic bag? Drifting through the wind, wanting to start again. No, like you're polluting the ocean and killing all marine life. Doesn't have quite the same ring to it. You know it's estimated that we use 1.6 billion plastic bags each year in New Zealand. Ooh, I think I use two at lunch. And there's heaps of them in my flat. I mean, we have a plastic bag that's just full of plastic bags. And all of those bags are full of plastic bags. It's like a Russian doll of plastic bags. And plastic bags are directly linked to killing marine life. Like turtles. Mm. They could be swimming along, getting hungry, and they see a jellyfish. But it's not really a jellyfish, it's a plastic bag. And they eat the plastic bag. And they think they're full, but they're not. They starve to death. Poor turtles. But when I throw away plastic bags, I don't put them in the ocean, I put them in the rubbish. Yeah, no, you do. But even when it's in landfills, plastic bags are at a risk of blowing away into our rivers and oceans. Yeesh. I definitely need a good reusable bag to take to the supermarket. But I never remember the Bring them with me? I guess I need a reminder, you know, maybe I could get a tattoo. Ooh, bit drastic. You know, many parts of the world have made changes without inking the entire population. Some countries now have a tax on plastic bags. In Ireland, 90% of consumers now use lifelong bags. Wait, sexy accents and good environmental policies? Go Ireland! Mm-hmm. And in Kenya and Rwanda, they put a ban on plastic bags altogether. So this is why Auntie Helen is calling for a ban in New Zealand. Not just because they're a serious fashion crime. Ooh, they are ugly. But they're also bad for the environment. And yes, former Prime Minister Helen Clark has been encouraging Kiwis to sign the Greenpeace petition on the ban. They've got over 67,000 signatures. That's a great start. And Countdown and New World say they're going to phase out plastic bags by the end of this year. Oh, and did you know that there's a town called Bulls? Yes. They've got their own collective reusable bag called the Bulls bag. I might take a trip to Bulls to check out this bag if I knew where Bulls was. <laughs> we could also make a trip to Rangiora, where they have a campaign to stop plastic single-use straws, encouraging businesses to use paper or metal straws instead. To be honest, I could probably live without straws altogether. Yeah, man, do you even lift, bruh? <laughs> That's <laughs> unnecessary. <laughs> um, and on the other hand, Save Mart has compulsory plastic bags. Are they a recycled clothing store? I know. It's funny, eh? No, they say it's to stop theft, apparently, but there's gotta be a different way. So I clearly need to make a bunch of changes. Bags, straws, plastic bottles are pretty damn terrible as well. The problem is they're so convenient. And humans are naturally lazy. That's why Netflix always has to ask, are you still watching? Yes, Netflix, I do nothing but watch you all day. And I don't even like Vampire Diaries. That's why the government has to step in and put restrictions in place. Restrictions on plastic bags, not Vampire Diaries. Ooh, maybe on Vampire Diaries. What do you guys think? Should there be a tax on single-use plastic bags or an all-out ban? And share this video if you ever feel like a plastic bag. <laughs>